left ventricular tissue doctor measurement. One of the most important measure, uh, evaluation for diastolic dysfunction of the left ventricular is the tissue doctor. In tissue doctor, first we get apical four chamber and then we select tissue doppler or TDI. When we put it TDI, we used uh, <coughs> sample volume in two places. Uh, one in the medial annulus of the mitral valve or cross of the heart, exactly at this spot that all four chamber uh, cross each other. And another is lateral annulus. So the most uh, one of the most important things in this case, you have to make sure that your cursor is almost parallel to the movement of the uh, cross of the heart. As you see here, this movement annulus goes pa almost parallel to the cursor. So I am in the right place and right view. If it's not, with Hilto, you can make it this movement and cursor at the same line and uh, alignment. So with Hilto, just fix this problem, even in the lateral annulus. After we that, we hit the pulse, pulse Doppler, and we get such image Doppler like this. So we have many characters. First, let's go for the, this Doppler, tissue Doppler. This uh, positive deflection represents systolic and even you can see correspond with EKG. Here is QRS complex exactly and this is systolic phase and from here to the here is diastolic. This click is uh, represent of the time of closing, uh, closing valve or uh, closing aortic valve and mitral valve so and in the tissue doppler we can measure this spot right before systolic part we call it s wave here this one s wave this is exactly isovolumetric contraction time or ivct so end of the a this is a end of the a this click from here to here is IVCT. And at the end of the systolic tissue doppler, here that's click, two click here, especially on this pulse, you can see it. from here to here, this is IVRT or isovolumetric relaxation time from here to here, this two click. And between them is ejection time from here to there. This is ejection time. And this one is E prime and A prime. One of the most important to measure being E prime and A prime. E prime is that you don't, you shouldn't overestimate. The rule is this: this uh, sideways, when they cross each other, that spot is your measurement. So don't go overestimate and beyond that. Like this, this image you should include this uh, spot the strongest envelope that these two sides or trim they cross each other so this is spot and this is spot and this is spot is right measurement for e prime and a prime is the same you don't go too much far a little the place that they cross each other so this is spot and this is spot for the a prime and this is S prime uh, that represent, especially we measure on the right ventricular systolic function. Uh, it give us some important finding and parameter for measuring indirectly systolic function of the right ventricular. When we did with the medial, we go for lateral and then we put cursor on the lateral, almost parallel to the movement of annulus lateral, and then we repeat again measuring E prime on lateral wall.